Looks like I've lost them for now. I have to consider my next moves carefully. These numbers are for the message service. One set is the user number, and the other is the password. So the numbers were for a message service. I wonder who would have left a message for me. and phone. If that message from myself was true, then Natsuno Minami is a key figure in all this. She may get me a step closer to recovering my memories. If I can really believe what I heard, that is. I guess I'd better get my hands on that data unit and find out. I'll do some investigating of my own on Minami. I just need to find her first. Now, how should I approach this? Why does this guy keep calling? Have I been following his orders this whole time? He wanted information, and he was trying to extract it from that data unit. A girl with red glasses and braids. She created NMC-0204, the same pills I take. I saw her at the school, but what business would an android have there? Besides, there was something different about her then. DD-426, likely the root of my memory loss. But who would create such a thing, and why? gun from the underground facility in the future. The android was using it. I wouldn't mind having Fuyusaka tag along. She may even be able to help me find Natsuno Minami. But I don't want to get her mixed up in all this. Wait a minute. When I met up with Fuyusaka this morning, a girl passed by and said she was going to the track room. Wasn't that Natsuno Minami? I'll wait for school to get out tomorrow. Then I'll head over to the track room. Fuyusaka's at the front gate. She's still waiting for me. Things might heat up again. I can't drag her into this. If anything were to happen to her, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. Fuyusaka wasn't kidding. They're crawling all over campus. I'd better stay out of sight. Ex 
Excuse me. Where can I find someone who's on the track team? Oh, well, we're on the track team. Do you need something? <sighs> um, we have stuff we need to do. So, if you don't need anything, we'll be leaving now. I'm looking for a student by the name of Natsuno Minami. Oh, Minami? She went for a run around the school. She hasn't come back yet. Yep, that's right. Around the school. Got it. Thanks. That's... She's the one who delivered that package to me. The one that contained the message to myself. Looks like she goes to this school too. Definitely up to something. <laughs> um. Natsuno Minami. Bastard! Stay the hell away from Natsuno! Wait, Yuki-chan! For what? This asshole just held a gun to your face! Stop this right now, you two! You seem to know who I am. Care to explain what's going on? You really forgot everything, huh? Just like Shinonome. <sighs> That's why I can't get a good read on you. Hard to tell whose side you're on right now. You two. You lured me all the way over here. What are you planning? Planning? I thought you came for him, right? Him? That's... That's what showed me the footage of myself. Wrong. That's not the same one I gave you. That unit was a different one supplied by the SIU. They're the ones who had it say all those things. SIU? It's where those guys in black are from. How do you... Just who in the world are you? I'm Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. Are you working with the SIU? Strictly speaking, no. Then why cooperate with them? Got no choice. They're keeping tabs on Nachan. <sighs> so those black suits wanted me to see that footage. But why? Yuki Takamiya. She delivered the data unit to me near the riverbank. She seemed to have known me before I lost my memories. So this is it. This is the data unit I was told to seek out. There's a message for you. A message? He asked me to show it to you. So, here it is. Not John. <sighs> Why? Why did you temporarily erase your memories? Was it because of me? Yes. I can't let them get their hands on this information. My partnership with Peta. My dishonesty. You knew all along. Didn't you, Miura? You might not know this. But you're a terrible liar. I guess so. 
Why didn't you show me the data after it was analyzed? Because you took pity on me. Some things are best left unknown. I disagree. I should know about my own past. No matter how terrible I was. Can you link me to the logs through this message? Seki Gahara. Please, Miura. Show me the logs from 2188. Who's the target? The leading figure in nanotech research. Chihiro Morimura. Hmm. She's a former executive of Newman Inc. After she left the company, I allowed her to participate in Shikishima's project. The project was put on hold, but she continues working on it despite our warnings. Our company will suffer massive losses as a result. That's not the real reason. Excuse me. You pushed for the acquisition of Newman Inc. And that initiated a backdoor transfer of a large slush fund. What are you basing this on? Morimura's interstellar development project. It was one of 12 that were showcased for the acquisition. You used the project as a cover for the real use of your funds. But Morimura's actions threw a wrench in your plans. If an international agency were to catch wind of the situation, they'll definitely launch an investigation. And that will put you in danger of losing your position. Are you threatening me, Sekigahara? <sighs> like I'd waste my time. I'm an assassin. A professional. If I'm expected to perform my job perfectly, and I need every last detail on my target. <sighs> Sector 4. It's another colony that's still under construction. You'll find her research lab there. I'll be heading into orbit myself next month for an inspection. I want the job handled by then. And be discreet. I've just sent over security details for Sector 4. You'll also find a security personnel ID for your use. Eliminate Chihiro Morimura and put an end to the project. First, I'll have to confirm receipt of your payment. What was all that about? Morimura's that one teacher, right? You came here from the future to kill her? But more importantly... The hell were you doing with that four-eyed bastard? I'm... an assassin? Morimura... So I really did do it. No... I wasn't going after Fuyusaka next, was I? <sighs> and I've been lying to Miura. Was it about the change in command? No. That can't be right. There you are. Keeping an eye on me with your drone? Finding you was simply a coincidence. Just like you, I'm now considered deceased. Ever since the battle in Sector 2, I've been in hiding. So tell me, back on the battlefield in 2064, who used DD-426? Someone did his research. Your sentinel was the source of the infection. So the evidence suggests that you're the one who used it. Guess that's how it looks. I'm not sure who the real culprit is. However, Chihiro Morimura enacted Operation Aegis after we lost. Aegis. What is Operation Aegis? Just look at this place. What the hell happened? Sector 3 was used as a trial run of sorts. It was the only terminal tested on, but it was enough to activate the self-defense system. 
Sector 4 will be the real deal. The 1980s. Once all the terminals are sealed by the self-defense system, then Operation Aegis will be fulfilled. If that succeeds, we'll no longer be able to loop. And we can't let that happen. By loop, you mean going back in time, right? How is that different from shifting? Well, this world was created only 15 years ago. You come from a different world, where the year is 2064. Your world never existed prior to 2049. Never existed? But we're in 2025 right now, aren't we? This is neither the past nor the future. That's how the five sectors were designed. They were created when you arrived from another world. I've had enough of this crap. If there's really some other world, then prove it. I take it you're aware of Miura's logs. Logs? Logs of the year 2188. I made an interesting discovery after studying the data myself. I learned that the real world is in 2188. We were meant to return there eventually. However, this world is destroyed before that time can come. A tragic incident indeed. Especially if it was the result of someone's careless actions. Our enemies, the ones we call Kaiju, have one goal. To gain control over every mainframe in all sectors. Once that's accomplished, the five sectors will reset. This causes the world to be recreated. And that includes you. Morimura and I didn't exactly go back in time. We merely skipped the recreation. <sighs> didn't you deliver those pills to Morimura? For Izumi and Shinonomi-kun? <sighs> You and the others have no hope of fully recovering. However, there is a way for you to survive. How? I'll extract your data from before you lost your memories. Then I'll take it with me to the recreated world. That should stop the effects of DD-426. Can you really do that? <sighs> so then, what do you need me for? To make sure we can loop, of course. I intend to stop Operation Aegis so we can start over again. And if I'm going to do that, I'll need your help. Still don't believe me? Not really. Well, you will, once you see the logs for yourself. I need you to find Sentinel number 17. I know he made a copy of it. The data will be useful in the next world, so I'd like to get my hands on it. See that drone over there? Drone? This thing? Yes, but don't activate it just yet. That's no ordinary drone. It's him. Miura? It was before the Sentinels were randomly transmitted. He transferred himself into that drone and escaped. I managed to secure him in Sector 2. He doesn't entirely agree with my methods, though. As such, he's chosen not to cooperate. It would be best if you told him you saved him from me. Come again? You're going to convince him that you've saved him. Then, you'll retrieve the data from him. You're asking me to lie to him? He received command over Sentinel number 17 instead of me. I'm not exactly sure why. But he's the only one who can track and activate it. 
For your sake, cooperate. I'll ensure that Miura comes with us. Above all, this is for you and Shinonome-kun. Well then. You can't use the gate at school due to structural damage. I've set new coordinates further ahead. Feel free to use that one. Hang on, I never... To avoid suspicion, I'll have my men continue following you. They won't be aware of our plans, however. So try not to get caught. I'm heading back to Sector 4. You're okay. Chihiro. No point in trying to make sense out of his story. It's still too early to say anything for sure. But a scout unit from the future? And it possesses my consciousness? The footage he showed us is allegedly from the future. If it's real, then how am I still alive 200 years from now? All I know for certain is that it's no ordinary scout unit. Natsuno-san. Get it together, Kate. She certainly... I admit... She, I have more... Back in 1945, everyone mysteriously vanished. But here in 1985, 40 years later, there's no historical evidence or impact from that event. It reminds me of a concept I read about in a science book. The idea of two similar parallel worlds. Chihiro. She was acting like a completely different person. Design engineer? Controlling the system? What was she talking about? Chihiro. Natsuno san. I'm not sure why. But I really want to hear her voice right now. Could she still be at school? No point in trying to make sense out of his story. It's still too early to say anything for sure. But a scout and it... What's happened to her? Chihiro... Morimura? She's the original Chihiro? Is there no going back to the way she used to be? <sighs> Chihiro... Natsuno-san's over there. What's the hurry? Miura-kun. BJ's gone. I'm pretty sure he's lost somewhere by himself. If he's caught, we'll never see him again. All right. Let's split up and find him. Okay. He couldn't have gone too far. Maybe he's inside one of the school buildings. Okay. Then you search the buildings. I'll search the campus perimeter. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks. Did you see that flying RC thing? It went back behind the North School building. Think it belongs to the radio club? It was all boxy and weird-shaped. 
Didn't look like a helicopter to me. So it can fly. Behind the north building. That's where the old school building is. No sign of him. Sounds like rotor blades. Are you trying to draw attention to yourself? Natsuno-san's worried about you. Hey, Taro Miura. I've been scanning for you from overhead. Huh? Is what Sekigahara said true? Are you... me? That's correct. I am Hey, Taro Miura. Why do you look like this? When the world was destroyed, I died. <sighs> I had to take your place and fight in the Sentinel. In order to do this, I was resurrected as an AI. So you've been using a Sentinel to fight off those monsters. That's what you're looking for, right? Correct. Then how did your AI end up in this scout unit? There was a malfunction in the Sentinel. So I uploaded a part of myself to this drone. However, 72% of me is still wrapped inside the Sentinel. Does Natsuno-san know that you're me? We didn't get a chance to meet in the previous world. I'm very fond of Natsuno. It's best that she doesn't know. If you're really from the future, then you must know. What's going to happen? My experiences are all from past events. Past events? Time is relative. Even with future technology, time travel is impossible. We never traveled through time. But you're Keitaro Miura from the future, right? I'm an entity that used to be Miura. Before you. I knew it. So the rest of the footage is available. Promise me. Uh -huh. Before the final invasion begins, you'll research the logs and figure out a solution. Shihiro Morimura's plan, Operation Aegis. It will lead you all down a path of destruction. Shihiro's plan? Promise me. Why are you asking me this? Because... I'll be gone soon. Morimura-san. Is all going as planned? All issues have been resolved on my end. Four sectors are ready for the final phase. The remaining one is at roughly 70%. Sectors. Their structures are similar to these colonies. So that's what I've been calling them. So we'll have five sectors then. I've chosen not to divide them based on orbital positions. Instead, I've separated them by historical eras. I've been meaning to ask, why don't we create a residential district of the present day? The decision was made to start over. From a time before, the world took such a terrible turn. Before the nanomachine incidents? Perhaps humanity tasted the fruit of knowledge too early. When it was being decided how far we should go back, we couldn't come to an agreement. 
so we ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era. I've always wanted to live in the 20th century before the war. So this works out perfectly. However, some resources of the era are quite old. Accurately reproducing them might pose a difficulty. I don't think I can do it with confidence. That's fine. As long as our civilization survives, I'll be happy. Once it's completed, just one district will be the size of a city. It'll have a bustling population of 1.2 million people. We have more residential areas than we originally planned. Miss Karabe's hands are going to be awfully full. I'm sure everything will be finished on time. I have to get back to work. Understood. I should head to school. My Yaki Silva Pond's waiting for me. No, wait. That's not the point. Can't lose focus. I need to find Okino. If I had to guess, Okino must be a cat person. Well, not that that's particularly important to know. Okino. Okino's a man anyway. If, hypothetically, I had fallen for him, it was when I believed him to be a girl. Oh, now I remember. He cozied up to that rascal Ogata, too. He even confessed his love. <laughs> Sorry, Okino. But you straight first. It's only fair. Excuse me, miss. Uh, oh. little friend again. That kitty is so cute. Does it live at the school? Oh, you mean Lucky? Lucky? Oh, you know, because he's a lucky cat. Lucky, is it? A cat of many names, it sounds like. What's so lucky about him? You just hang around this cat. And you start finding money everywhere. <gasps> what? Seriously? I mean, it's it's usually like a couple coins. Oh, so just lose change. Hmm. Well, worth a try. Let's see what's under the box, shall we? No, there wouldn't be any around here. 
Want to grab food on the way home? I don't know if I have the money. No, there would. Hey, Karabe Kun. Are we on for today? Uh, I got somewhere to be. Well, all right. coin. That's a lucky find. I have 100 yen on me. Seems like a healthy limit. digging around for it. That looks so sketchy. I have 150 yen on me. Your finest yakisoba pond, please. Sorry for making you wait, yakisoba pond. But it's okay now. Time to dig in. Mm. <laughs> delicious. Impossibly delicious. But of course it is. It's Yaki Soba Pond. Noodles stir fried in sauce. I don't, but if there's one. see Okino anywhere. Is he not at school? Oh. Isn't that one of the Sentinel scout units? Why is this here? This is not good. And he's... You. You're the one from the shrine, where we cross time. <sighs> What's wrong? You can't move? Something's happened. Did Okino get him too? I should get him back to the hideout. Uh, don't tell me I'm going to have to carry him. What a hassle. <sighs> what am I, just another one of Okino's cronies? I don't have to run around cleaning up his messes. Stop! Plastic gizmo! What's Sentinel technology doing here? How 
How did you get here? I'll take a look. What is this? What were you thinking, Okino? What's wrong, Takatoshi? What's wrong is this core system. Oh, figured it out, huh? Okino? Professor Shinonomi found it. Daimos, really? Everyone knows that's one of the old kaiju survival sims. Even I played that thing all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony in a video game? I'm just reusing the infrastructure, environment management code. Relax. We're not gonna get kaiju popping up. Still... And hey, faster than building the code base from scratch, right? Come on. You love me, so you can trust me, right? The work's done. We've done all we can for the human race's future. As long as this colony's life support holds out, as long as I've got even a second more, I'd rather spend it with you. Tsukasa. You're right. I'd rather be holding you right now myself. I'll see if I can explain it to Professor Shinonome. Thanks. I love you, Takatoshi. What is this? That wasn't me, was it? But Okino and I were together. In love. It's impossible. Hey, what did you just show me? Put it up again. Here begins my final log. This isn't the same recording. Tsukasa's dead. <sighs> the medical bio kits are no good to me now. So I only got an hour or two left. Why did it come to this? It was all logistical debate over Project Ark. An energy dispute. And Tsukasa. He argued to cancel the plan. To divert the energy to life support. If that damn Ogata and his cronies hadn't come armed... No. Too late to point fingers now. Izumi-san shot Tsukasa. So I made him pay. Him and his allies. As for the survivors, there's Professor Shinonome and Ida. They made it out safe. And me. Though, I figure I don't have long left. The hangar's blown out. And the colony's in ruins. It won't even take 20 hours. All we've worked for will be gone. I came here so I could protect people. And now I'll die here. With my friend's blood on my hands. If... <laughs> Project Ark actually goes through. <laughs> if... I actually get to be reborn somehow. I hope I live to protect them. like Okino's with him, too.
Okino. Oh, good. You're safe. Hijiyama-kun? What's wrong? Why are you so worked up? Uh, what? That image. It was definitely Okino. But what even was that? Uh, Something on my face, or...? You didn't go to school today? Oh, yeah. I skipped to do a little time travel. Huh? Wait, don't tell me. Were you out looking for me at school? No, uh... No, really? Wait, don't tell... Were you out look... No! Well, I'm glad he's safe. Why is that a good thing? Why does seeing Okino make me feel better? So you're still dressing like that. <gasps> you! Whoa there. You move, I shoot. Bastard must have followed me. You led me right to Okino's doorstep. No. You're here to kill him? Hijiyama-kun, calm down. He's A. Sekigahara. He and I play for the same team. <sighs> Isn't that right? You've done really well holding on like that. I think I know why you're here. You want what only I can give you. You can drop the gun. I won't run anymore. Okino. I need it. Please, help me. Sure. Since you finally asked nicely. You two... Don't tell me. You two are... Steady? <laughs> what if we are? What does that matter to you? <clears throat> Damn that Okino. How long is he going to toy with me? Then, I'm not thinking straight myself. Okino's a man. Why was I so scared that Sekigahara would steal him? That damn Okino. That was too far for a joke. <sighs> anyway, what was going on with those talking images? If I recall, they said something about being reborn? Now, where is Okino? On time. Okay, now. Here's the plan. I need to get some information out of the nurse's office. So I need you to distract the school nurse, Morimura. Just make sure she doesn't get to her office before I'm done. Morimura's wearing a big white coat. Can't miss her. All I need is about ten minutes. Hey! You're a lifesaver. Okino's trying to sneak into the nurse's office. So I have to keep Morimura occupied in the schoolyard. She should be wearing a white coat. Oh, that must be her. So can you take care of that? Yes, ma'am. Well, she, uh, she seems like quite a teacher. I can imagine the boys have a hard time focusing on class. Now that's done. Wait. 
Yes? Uh, well, uh... There was an accident behind the school. A student's been injured. Oh, no. Can you help me get them to the nurse's office? Uh, well, actually... They can't move because they broke their leg. Oh, that's awful. We'll have to call them an ambulance quick. Wait, I mean, their leg's mostly fine, actually. They scraped their arm. Well, their entire body. They're very... scraped. Hmm. Maybe you should come and see for yourself. You don't even go to this school, do you? I know that uniform. You're from Nigakuri High, aren't you? Are you trying to pull pranks on teachers? The jig is up. What year are you? Tell me your name. You're coming with me to the student guidance room. Who's your homeroom teacher? About time for a retreat. This place always helps me relax. Some kind of nostalgia, I suppose. The building still smells like it did back then. Back then, I was just focused on training to pilot the Sentinel. I never imagined I'd end up like this. What's wrong? You can take a closer look. <sighs> what do you think? I remember my first time seeing it too. The thrill of it all left me speechless. So this is the Sentinel. That's right. Look at those arms, those legs. It's like an iron giant. A 2,000 ton invincible iron giant at that. You see those batteries on the front? Like a battleship's? I don't know much about the technical side, but it uses an electromagnetic field instead of gunpowder. One ton of shells in a single salvo. A ton? They're just like the main batteries on the Nagato. And those new flying bombs equipped on its back? They control their own path. Never miss a mark. How is that possible? It will revolutionize war as we know it. If all that's true, then... It sounds like a gift from the gods. Or something out of a science fiction novel. Professor Doji can tell you the specifics. Apparently, it's based on this technology out of Germany. But I suggest you leave the details to the engineers. All we need to do is strap in and protect our homeland. And if I'm not able to, that duty will fall to you. Aren't there any better candidates among the adults? Why did they turn to students like us? The Sentinel's no ordinary machine. It chooses its pilots. You and I were, apparently, the only viable choices. Hey, you two. Huh? Kiriko-san! Why are you here? This area should be highly restricted. Oh, you know... I'm just delivering documents on the Professor's behalf. It's fine, Keitaro. She's the Professor's daughter. I have permission. 
Come with me. We'd better start on your sync connection adjustments. Well, the professor wants to anyway. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> Thank you for passing that along, Kiriko-san. Let's go, Keitaro. Since I never went back, Keitaro should have been made the only Sentinel pilot. But nothing in the history books even mentions him. Maybe they couldn't get the Sentinel ready in time. If it isn't Kate Taro, in the flesh! Who are you? Do I look that different? It's me, Hijiyama. I never imagined you'd wind up here too. Takatoshi-san? <sighs> it's the hair, isn't it? I suppose I can't blame you for not recognizing me. I've been living here for half a year now myself. It's yeah, time to grow. Take a closer look. I swear, it's me. It really is you, Takatoshi-san. What happened to the Sentinel? Well, that's actually how I came to this era. What, through the Sentinel? It has the capacity to time travel. Uh, what? So it's true. It really is a weapon from the future. Where is the Sentinel? Somewhere nearby? It is around here, but I can't move it. Shikishima and the Sarah's government caught wind of it too. They've seized the Sentinel. Dear gods. So when did you get here? Scratch that. How did you get here? What's happened at home since I've been gone? Slow down. I can only answer one at a time. Are you hungry at all? Come see where I'm staying. I'll treat you to some yaki soba pan. Oh no, I'm fine. These days, I'm in the care of Karabe's grandchild. I see. But I'm telling you, you've got to try this yakisoba pan. It's the most delicious food this era has to offer. Takatoshi-san, have you had the chance to try any... Hamburger? What is this... Hamburger? I have reason to believe it's the greatest culinary invention in history. You overestimate your burger, my friend. Okino said he didn't want anyone knowing he was here. Best not to go talking about Kiriko Doji either. So this is why you disappeared. You came here. What happened after I left? You escaped as an accomplice to Kiriko Doji. At least, that's what all the reports said. Nothing doing! Do you think I'm a spy as well? No chance of that. But, even if you were a spy, you wouldn't face any punishment for it. What do you mean by that? There's nobody left in our time to authorize it. So, we lost the war. Just like in the history books. It's nothing to do with the war. The monsters destroyed everything. Wh what do you mean? Explain yourself. Hold it, Okino. Keitaro was talking about some horde of monsters. I want a real explanation. Hey! This place. I think it'd be better to show you instead of trying to explain. 
So if we go back to the 1940s... So it's true. This shrine held a way to travel across time. You're coming, right? Of course. Then let's get going. Everywhere here, it's the same thing. Tamalsan's house should have been around here. Not that you can tell with it like this. It's just like Keitaro said. There's not a soul in the factory, or the bunker. Doesn't look like there's anyone around here, either. You'd think this place was hit by one of the air raids. But there isn't even a single body. No sign of any international aid or intervention. Because Japan wasn't the only one hit. If I had to guess, this is the state of the entire world. What? What are those? them then the ones you've been talking about yeah they're all daimos destroyers of worlds did these monsters eat everyone they don't eat the people have all been captured thanks to a buried ufo well a saucer a saucer that's what the daimos are after their goal is to break through to that giant underground saucer. Specifically, to get in contact with its tech. That triggers the saucer's shifter, which teleports civilians. As to where they go, or why the Daimos do it, we don't know. So my mother... and to Mausan, These things took them away? Wait... If the world was destroyed in the 1940s, then the land in 1985 should be... It's hitting you too, huh? Does that mean... these are... parallel worlds? I'm impressed you even know the concept. He used to borrow Keitaro's science fiction novels. At the very least, there's one thing we know for sure. This reality and the other aren't connected by causality. Nothing makes sense anymore. If this is a nightmare, I want to wake up. Just looking at this, it doesn't feel real. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. <laughs> 